Hello and welcome back to our PHP tutorial series. This is the sixth instalment and this time we're covering switches and the ternary operator. Okay. So we created a variable called name and that comes from the URL using the get global super global. Okay. Now a switch statement is an easy way to compare the the value of one variable. In an if else statement you might put if name equals Tom else if name equals Bob else etc etc but in a switch statement it's a lot easier to do so what you do is you write the word switch and in brackets you write the name of the variable you want to compare okay and that's how you do it that's what a switch statement how a switch statement is structured inside it you get what's known as cases so tom colon echo do rule break case bob echo you also rule and we'll put break there and we'll put a default in okay echo you do not rule break okay so the first case acts as like an if statement so it says if name is equal to tom this works as like an else if statement so else if name is equal to bob and then finally it's that this default works in an else so it says if nothing else is true then do this okay and that's how a switch name is structured so if I go into I put name equals Mike there it says you do not rule however if I put name is Tom you get you rule if I put name is Bob you also rule and that's how a switch statement works you can have as many cases as you want and like an if-else statement it has an alternative syntax and in this case instead of putting it in the squiggly parentheses you put a colon there and end switch at the end and it works in exactly the same way and that is how a switch statement works and this brings us on to the ternary operator and the ternary operator is another way of comparing the value of one variable except instead of comparing it to loads and loads of different values it can either compare it as true or false so what you do is inside brackets you put let's say name equals uh, Tom now this question mark is if the condition is true so um you rule okay and then this colon is if the condition is false you do not rule okay so uh oops name double equals tom sorry okay so it says if name is equal to tom echo you rule and if it's not echo you do not rule okay well actually it won't echo it sorry what it will do is it will assign the variable it will assign the variable you rule so if we go echo instead it will echo you rule or echo you do not rule so name is ob mm -hmm. you do not rule okay however tom you get you rule and that is simply how a ternary operator works and it it's useful in things such as forums you might have noticed in some forum software where the with each post the background color alternates between one color and another so let's make ourselves let's say we put Assign a variable called back uh, background equals hash ff 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 ff. Okay, and 
and that will assign the background as white. Now we put uh, if the value is uh, if the value is white, then change it to grey. And if it's grey, or sorry, if it's not white, change it to white. So when that goes on a, in a loop, which we'll cover at a later date, that would keep alternating between white and grey and white and grey over and over until the end of the script. So if I refresh that shouldn't do anything but that's how it works in a nutshell. And that's pretty much rounded off this tutorial. If you join us next time we'll be going into something fairly advanced. We'll be going into loops. We'll be covering the for loop, the for each loop, the while loop and the do while loop and yeah so that's the end of this tutorial again thanks for watching subscribe rate comment send us messages whatever feel free and we'll see you next time